to me, I, I would like to do a little bit I can to support the ecosystem. My property is pretty much just grass, and grass is like really, it's really not that useful for the whole environment. I thought that maybe I can start it to plant some flowers, but I didn't really know where to start. I contacted a conservation foundation and they have someone come over to evaluate this yard and you know let me know okay if this area is good for a certain type of plants like sun or shade or you know like a soil type and you know they helped me to generate a plan and Jim was very kindly to help me with all the questions I have. Like when he was telling me that not all hydrangeas are equal and I was shocked to hear that. I thought all the you know, bees will come close to any flower, but it's actually not true. And, you know, come think about it. We human beings are the same. You know, like we are more inclined to eat certain food than other food, right? And so that's how I started to think about native plants would be really good for my garden. You know, I used to live in the city, so I really don't know much of the whole ecosystem and everything. It's a great learning process and experience for me. And ever since I have this like prairie area, it's wonderful. I started to learn more about like insects and butterflies, and I see a lot of a lot of insects that I've never seen before. So it's 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 fascinating and beautiful. And you know, I constantly take photos and videos to show it to my friends, and they are all very you know, Im impressed with it and very moved by it and they, and they realize they can do something like this too. So I feel like I learned so much in the past few years, you know, I'm moving here and, and now I, I can know, I can identify some plants <laughs> and I feel very, very, you know, like proud of myself from zero knowledge to a little bit knowledge. I mean, there's still a long way to learn, but I feel like I know way more than, you know, two, three years ago. <laughs> as a beginner it's super super overwhelming that I don't I didn't even know where to start people have the intention of, of wanting to installing the native plants but they don't have the knowledge and so I think conservation foundation does an amazing job to bridge that the intention to eventually make people's dream happen in a very smooth way so Jim gave me this like conservation sign and you know every time when like people walk by my yard and they always say oh that's a very nice sign you have and also they don't realize this can be done in a typical uh, traditional house setting they because oftentimes we think of conservation as a like, big yard or you know like forest preserve or like even state park but they don't realize they actually can do the same thing at home so you know it's a great like conversation starter it's been wonderful and you know amazing that how many people notice that sign I, I think I would like to continue to add you know, native plants gradually every year to reduce the size of the lawn. And so the next step is to start to look into woodland area and install like native plants into the wood, woodland areas. My goal is like gradually, gradually uh, shift the whole yard into native plants uh, every year, little bit by little bit.